Hello everyone. Thanks Hassi for asking me to do this. I hope everybody's keeping well in these really strange times. I'm here at my home in Leitrim in the northwest of Ireland. Um, I, I'm not going to dance live for you today because I've got no musicians to play for me. So it'd be a bit boring if I was just dancing to no music. So um, what I decided to do was I, um, I'm going to put some videos together of recent work that I've done with the children that I teach at my dance club called Art Dausa. So there's children from all over Ireland uh, of all different ages and we meet weekly, well normally do meet weekly to uh, dance and play music and do some drama and singing, lots of different stuff. Um, it's really good fun. So uh, there's some projects that we've been working on recently uh, for Creative Ireland, which is um, our government initiative for uh, creativity amongst the youth, amongst the children. So we just launched our latest video yesterday for International Dance Day, which was the 29th of April. So uh, that's the first piece I'm going to show you. And what the children were asked to do, 41 children from our club were asked uh, to stay within two kilometres of their home because that's the restrictions that our government have given us. We're not meant to go um, any further than two kilometres for recreation. So I asked the children to stay within the two kilometres, pick their favourite area and I gave them the track Farewell to Erin from the Bothy Band and they had to record themselves dancing. So they had to record themselves in lots of different angles as well, not just one angle. So they were technically not just choreographers, they were filmmakers as well. So uh, it was my job then when all 41 children sent their pieces back to me to stick it together and portray what they were trying to show in their videos. So it's lovely. That's the first piece. The second piece I'm going to show you is um, called the Two-Headed Annan. And it's about um, uh, the tribe of the fairies, the Two-Headed Annan, that landed on the mountain here in Leitrim, where I live. And it's said that on the 1st of May, they came from a mist and they descended the mountain. And um, they fought with the people on the mountain that were already there, the fairy clan that were already there called the Fearbug. So um, there's a famous tune called She Beog She Moor that Thurlok O'Carlin wrote. And uh, on those two hills, the fairy hills, She Beog and She Moor, uh, there's big burial grounds. And it's said to be the fairies that died or the warriors that died from the two headed Danon and the fair bulk are buried on those two hills. So check out that recording. It's really lovely. She Beog She Moor. Um, so yeah, we made a video about this because at my dance club one day, I said I was talking to the children about the old style of dance in Ireland and always referring back to maybe a hundred years ago. And one little boy said to me, "But what about before that? Uh, what did the people dance like? You know, from the time of Cú Cullen or uh, Queen Maeve, which would be mythical, uh, mythical legends in Ireland." So I was like, "Really interesting question because I have no idea what they dance like. But how about we make a video about what we think they dance like?" So um, we released this video on the 1st of May um, about the two headed Danon and how they danced. And in the film, you'll see the Schlieven Eyre Mountain that they're said to have come from. Uh, and uh, we dance below on the lake around it. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful footage. Um, and it's said then that um, they uh, were eventually uh, defeated in the battle and the two headed Danon people were... Uh, they moved underground and they're said to now still live in the, the fairy people still live in the mountain of Stephen Eyre underground. So uh, yeah, that's Leitrim. And if you ever get a time to come visit us again in Ireland, when things go back to normal, please do come over to my county. It's beautiful over here. Um, just as lovely as Clare and Donegal and Kerry and all those places. We're the smallest population in Ireland. We have 32,000 people living here. Really, really rural area, but it's really beautiful. Very unspoilt. Um, okay, so the last video I'll show you is a piece of me dancing with one of my favourite musicians called Danny Diamond. Um, beautiful fiddle player and... On the mountain that I just spoke about, Schlieven uh, there's a beautiful old pub that's half a pub, half a shop. Uh, and I did a few steps on the counter of the bar 
um, back in October. It was great fun um, because the floor is at a slant, you know, it's not a flat floor, so I couldn't dance on it. So everybody shouted at me to get up on the counter. Um, and the fun part was on the counter, there was hooks um, for the meat hanging out of the ceiling. And as I was dancing, it kept catching in my hair and pulling it. <laughs> so it was a good challenge. But uh, it's one of my favourite videos and brings really happy memories to me. So they're my three videos and I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks Hassie for asking me to be part of this and um, hello to everybody in Austria. I had such a beautiful time. Um, some really happy memories from that tour uh, and Hassie treating us so well and bringing us to the best places and all the lovely Christmas markets. So thank you. Anyway, Sloan from Erin and uh, hopefully I'll see you all soon. Stay safe. Bye.
Did it, 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 did it,